Ignition. We have liftoff. C, C, C. How many C's are in this thing? C, 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 X, inflection. Shareholders, how are you doing? Friday, not too shabby. Up 8%, just about 8%. I'm still in the red, though. I'm still in the red. I'm a loser, yes, but that's okay. I need shares to go lower. I need to pick up more shares on the cheap. Now, this might be strange to say, but I wish we could touch 15 again. I need to, I'm in the accumulation mode. I need more shares on the cheap. Don't take off just yet. I think we're just going to yo-yo here until we de -spack. I don't think there's been an announcement yet. I was hoping it would be this year that, that we officially become inflection because I want to change our ticker to INFQ. I want to be official. So I guess we're going to yo-yo here until we get to that point. And what happens when we de -spack and officially become inflection? I've seen a lot of companies that were formed by SPAC, and once they become official, they drop 80 90% in value. The share price plummets. Could that happen to us? I'm not sure, but I'm a believer in this company. And so for me, I just have to take opportunities to accumulate shares when the opportunity presents itself. And that's what I'm doing. Well, look at this team. Look at this partnership. Here are the boys. Jensen, NVIDIA, our chief technology officer. Pranav, our CEO. Matthew Kinsella. I wonder if, I don't know if he'd look good in a leather jacket. Only Jensen can pull that off. Stick with the suit. Now, there's a reason why our CEO was invited to the NVIDIA conference and shared the stage with Jensen. Jensen is very calculating and strategic. Inflection is an important piece of NVIDIA's quantum playbook. It's become obvious to me. Jensen has a serious connection to this company, likely has plans for it to be an integral partner in the quantum GPU hybrid stack that is going to change the world. NVIDIA CEO Jensen previously said quantum computing is reaching an inflection point. And when he pronounced inflection, he pronounced it with a Q, not a C. Did you notice? At inflection, we have the right expertise, the backing, the funding, the contracts, the facilities, the execution. What's not to love? And we trade at a discount to our peers. Now, inflection has been harnessing the power of neutral atoms across the full spectrum of quantum products, not just computing. Energy efficient, cryogenic free, and already hitting key fault tolerance milestones. Inflection was named an NVQ Link launch partner with NVIDIA. They feature their neutral atom quantum computer scale. It was mentioned in Jensen's keynote, and they also model our hardware in the NVIDIA booth. We'll show photos of that in a second. But let's take a quick listen to our CEO of Inflection. First of all, thanks for having us, Jensen. Yeah, it's great this to see you Guys, it's yeah. great to be up here with you. This is going to be fun. Uh, at Inflection, we are actually also building our quantum computers using neutral atoms. And I think Ben did a great job explaining that, and as did folks on the last panel. So I'll just say that neutral atoms are a highly flexible technology. And that's because they take place entirely at room temperature. And so because we don't need a freezer, you can actually shrink, you can cost down, and you can field deploy this technology. And so what we do, I actually brought a prop here, is we can trap our qubits in these ultra high vacuum cells, and then and they're atoms, these qubits are atoms, and then we can arrange them and, and do interesting things with them with lasers. And we think, as I think uh, Misha said in the first panel, um, atoms are nature's perfect qubits, but they're also nature's perfect clocks and nature's perfect sensors. And so we actually point this core atom technology at those three areas, clocks, sensors, and computers. And you can think of them as sort of a continuum of complexity on what you can do with neutral atoms, with computing being the most complex and, uh, and clocks being the least complex. And we're following a, a tried and true monetization and market development strategy of monetizing those areas where we actually have true quantum advantage today, like clocks and sensors, and using those learnings because there's a lot of leverage, all the underlying components are the same, those learnings and those gross profit dollars to um, help us push the limits and get to ultimately quantum advantage in the um, computing world. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we do. And, and we are doing interesting things in the computer alongside your fantastic um, quantum team, Jensen, Sam, uh, Lisa, and, uh, and, and Jin Song and others. So yeah, appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thanks, Matt. Inflection announced MVQ link integration for scale. MVQ Link provides a standardized, low latency connection between quantum processors and GPU accelerated systems, enabling true real time hybrid computing. Scaling quantum computers require logical qubits and fast quantum classical feedback loops. Historically, there wasn't a single high performance way to couple QPUs to AI supercomputers. 
MVQ Link provides that missing interface. It supports real-time collaboration of CPUs, GPUs, and QPUs. So quantum programs and AI programs can operate as one system. This collaboration produces error corrections at speed. Heavy classical workloads, syndrome decoding, feedback, and control can run on GPUs and be applied to the QPU immediately, a prerequisite for stabilizing local qubits at scale. On the software side, the integration between our SuperStack compiler and the Q2Q toolchain make it easier to not only target inflection hardware, but also force multiply it with optimized collaboration. Quantum processors and AI supercomputers are complementary. Quantum accesses physics that's hard to, for classical machines to emulate, while GPUs deliver the massive deterministic throughput needed for control and learning. MVQ Link lets them operate together as one system. As this architecture rolls into supercomputing centers, we should expect logical qubits to become the first class resources in HPC, accelerating discovery across science and industry. The quantum race is on. We're gonna see quantum supremacy in defense. Remember, we're the only quantum company funded and under active contracts with multiple Western governments, already delivering real world systems and revenue. So while the other quantum companies research, we're earning. Inflection and Royal Navy demonstrate world's first quantum optical clock on underwater autonomous submarine to advance GPS-free navigation. The first of its kind deployment took place aboard the Royal Navy's new Excalibur, extra-large uncrewed autonomous vehicle. Inflection is the first external technology partner invited to participate in the Excal program, reflecting the Royal Navy's trust in the company as a proven quantum provider for national defense. Unlike other vessels, submarines cannot rely entirely on global navigation satellite system for timing and navigation. Traditional microwave-based clocks provide stability but accumulate drift over time, which can degrade accuracy in GPS-denied environments. High-precision local clocks like Ticker add to submarine capability by maintaining accurate timing and navigation autonomously, reducing reliance on external signs and improving overall resilience. This experiment was a first critical step towards understanding how quantum clocks can be deployed on underwater platforms to enable precision navigation and timing. Our ticker technology can provide a steady time heartbeat, smoothing out noise that causes navigation drift. This enables submarines to remain submerged, accurate, and hidden for longer durations. In addition, Ticker provides a precise onboard reference for other critical submarine systems such as sonar, fire control, and secure communications, improving mission performance across multiple domains. It looks like we need to add a new customer to this list, a new collaborator, a new partnership, the great state of Illinois. They will host an NVQ link enabled scale system at the Illinois Quantum and Microelectronics Park. Illinois is leading the quantum revolution. Wait, 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 before you change the channel, this is really some heavy stuff. Governor Pritzker is betting on quantum to anchor Chicago and the state's economy for decades to come as this powerful new technology grows and grows. This historic event taking place in Illinois is perhaps the clearest sign yet of our leadership role that our state has taken in the quantum realm. The first ever Global Quantum Forum. 2025 Chicago Quantum Summit. Monday and Tuesday coming up. And guess who's going to be there? Oh, yeah, you guessed it. The founder, Dana Anderson. There he is. There's the genius, guys. Let's not forget, Dana Anderson is a JILA fellow, professor of physics and electrical engineering at the University of Colorado Boulder, co-founder of Inflection. Now, he has many key publications on quantum information processing and atomtronic devices. He has been instrumental in developing integrated atom optics and chip scale quantum sensors. And if I go into Google Scholar, Dana Anderson, his work on quantum has been cited by more than 11,000 articles. Oh yeah, CCCX, we're still undervalued to our peers. If we look at the market cap, if we look at our revenue, we compare it against the others. We should be at $81 if we're comparing ourselves to IonQ. We should be at 53 if we're comparing ourselves to Rigetti. Now, people keep giving me warnings. They keep telling me this is a SPAC. Once the deal is done, these SPACs, they drop 50%. They drop 90%. Sure, I've seen those. I've seen that before. But, but I just can't make sense of that. You're telling me that we're undervalued now. We have more revenue than all of them except for IonQ, and we'll beat them next year. There's no doubt in my mind. We'll probably beat them all in revenue combined. But you're telling me that once this deal goes through, that this stock is going to drop 50%, 90%? 
So let's say we're hovering around $20 a share and the deal goes through. We're officially inflection. You're telling me that we're going to drop 50% to 10 bucks. You're telling me we're going to drop 90% to $2. We're already undervalued. We're going to undervalue us even more by that extreme amount. I can't buy it. I can't envision it. I know anything is possible as I continue to investigate and do research on CCCX inflection. I come to the realization that I believe in the modality of neutral atoms. It's going to be the most scalable, the most commercially scalable. And we're witnessing it right before our eyes now. When I listen to our CEO speak, I believe him. I trust Dana Anderson, our founder. But let me be clear. My conviction should not be borrowed. You have to do your own research. You know, for selfish reasons, I do these videos because it helps keep me informed of what's going on day to day. And it helps navigate me on where the company is going and what it's accomplishing. I enjoy sharing the videos for those who are believers. I enjoy sharing the videos for those who are non-believers. I love to see comments from those who support and those who don't because it helps guide me. It helps me make right decisions, the correct decisions. That's all I want to do is make the correct decision. And I want you to make the correct decision for yourself. You have to do that. All right. Well, that wraps it up for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. And shareholders, don't forget this Sunday, we have to set our quantum optical ticker clock back one hour. Thank you.